you um so you were in boston and then you lived in california but now you're back to boston yeah in carlisle out in the woods the trees near Carl when did you Church. go back i went back about 22 years ago wow i i lived in burlington then i went to a middlesex community college in bedford then i went to emerson college in boston then i started doing stand up and then i stayed like after i got out of College stayed like five years, and then I went to Boston. Then I went to Hollywood for two years. Emerson's like a performing arts college, right? Yeah, radio, mass communication. What did you go for? I went for radio because I thought that I didn't really. I wanted to be a comedian. I had like my mind divided in half. That was my goal. But I, part of me thought that's not really going to happen. Maybe if it doesn't happen, maybe I can be a guy on the radio. Maybe I can be funny on the radio. Mm. And then somehow get from the radio t t onto the stage. That how that would happen, I didn't know. But that's why I went to that school as like my backup plan. Mm. I loved that school because not really from what I learned about it, because everyone there was uh, slightly odd. Yeah, like it had a, it, it had a, uh, an automatic screening system that if, if you decided you wanted to go there, you weren't normal right there. You know, so <laughs> right. then you get all these people who decide to go there. Yeah, and they're all a little bit odd. And then you started feeding off them. So mm. you even got more creative because everyone you knew was creative. Yeah. So what I got out of the school was the people more than what I learned in the actual school. Some of my best friends are still from that time. And then I went on uh, The Tonight Show. Then I went out to Hollywood for two years. Then New York City for five years. I thought everyone, when I lived in New York, I thought everyone should have to live in New York for one year. Everyone in the United States. That's what I thought at the time. Because it was just, you know, you're like 30 years old. And it's, oh my God. <laughs> then I went back to... Uh, Santa Monica for 12 years and then I thought you know what uh, I want to go back I want to go home because the United States is like United States but it's like five countries environment looking there's New England and there's Florida Colorado yeah. was completely different Nevada here the, you know, the North, Utah the Northwest California it's like seven different countries named one thing the, my gut was thought, I want to go back now. I want to go back to where the seasons are, where those buildings are. I was just drawn from my gut to, to go back. When you were in Santa Monica, were you here because you were doing Hollywood stuff? And that's why you felt like you needed to be here? Yeah, I was here, like, doing... I was mainly going on the road, and I'd come back to L.A., but going on the road, man. And then I'd do some movies, like, some parts in movies, some TV... But I was mainly going, doing what I'm doing, and I thought, well, wait a minute, you know, I'm in this place that I really don't, I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it. It's like, you, I saw it as like a waiting room, like you're waiting for something to happen, yeah. waiting for this other thing to happen. And, and then I thought, well, I'm still, I'm going on the road mainly. The audience doesn't care if I came from LAX or right. Logan. They right. don't know. Right. And I thought, well, I don't, I don't want to be here waiting for something else anymore. This is what I do, mainly what I do. So I'll just go home, and I'll do it based out of there. And I'm happy that I did it. And at, at, during that time when I was gone, I started to really like nature. I would go to Rhode Island in the summer, and I really became more and more into nature. So when I went back to Massachusetts, I didn't want to live in a city anymore. I lived in Boston, New York, Los Angeles. Now I wanted to be around the trees because my mind was just like, my being was like, I didn't want that madness anymore. Yeah. It's just like, oh. You know, then I could go into the mad. I go to Boston or whatever. Then I go on the road into the madness. Then I come back and it's trees. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Isn't nature powerful? It's I mean, very nature important. is incredible. It's